issue. I thought about the conversation that we had at UCLA mm -hmm. talking about all the body issues that you've gone through. Tell me about this full circle moment. It was really incredible to be a part of this shoot just because there are so many things that I have gone through and to be able to stand there and expose my full body with having no regrets and just feeling really confident in myself was just the coolest thing that I could have been able to do. Mm -hmm. How did it feel when you took those picks, by the way, and how long did it get did it take you to nail that one where you were yeah, <laughs> you were doing that one? <laughs> we that tried one. doing it well, okay, so we did a lot of takes of a lot of different ones. So it was probably a four hour shoot, like Eight. all day. And I think I don't know. It just it was at first super uncomfortable, obviously. So you're like completely naked in the beginning you're kind of just wanting to stay in the robe, but towards the end of it, yeah, you you're care. like, All right, everyone's seen everything, <laughs> so you just take off the robe and they're just like, Can you put that back on? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's interesting because we Kit was talking about your story and how you've overcome uh, some some body issues. We wondered yeah. what part Miss Val might have played yeah. and how proud she might be of you uh, coming full force in this issue. She actually was the person that was choreographing my poses, and so she knows exactly what I like to do and how artistic I am. So she wanted to really portray that and not so much just as a gymnast. And we wanted to come up with really creative things to where we could see my body showing and my my stomach, my spots. I have a lot of different skin conditions. One on my arm, for instance. It's called granulomanular, and I really wanted to make a tribute to anyone that felt uncomfortable about any skin conditions. Mm -hmm. And good for you. The pictures were just mm. beautiful. And Caitlin, we know you graduated now. Yeah, What's hey. next? Do you remember we called Sasha Farber on the phone? Dancing with the stars. Yeah. This was all supposed to be going down. Kid, you were going to make a call. I did. I know. Hey, there's more we seasons. We did try. <laughs> you know, you were the reason why I got as close as I did, and I'm lucky enough to have been able to be in the running for Dancing with the Stars. But now that that's not happening, I my schedule's kind of cleared up, so I get to focus on a lot of the things that I want to work on. I kind of want to get my foot in the content creative, the content creative directing space. So I want to do a lot of stuff with my poetry and make videos for them. So basically poetry videos mm -hmm. you, you, instead of music videos. You, and like then that. you mentioned your poetry and you posted a beautiful poem to go along with those uh, beautiful pics. You mind, is there a special part of the poem that, that maybe you want to share with us before we let you go? Um, yeah, can I pull it out real quick? Yeah. Okay. So, Get it out. Okay. Get it out. <laughs> all right. We'll all pull it up. Yeah, um, here we go. So this is probably the most like empowering part, but it's too thin, too fat, but it's not anyone else's job to decide all that. Having a voice loud enough blocks everyone else out, but when there's that lingering doubt, every compliment received will go unnoticed like a drought. A mortisois is the only natural form of self-love. Once that's reached, nothing will rise above. We weren't meant to have it all, but make the best out of what we have every single day. I'm proud of my body and all its imperfections. That's all I have to all say. All right. I'm in. Yes. Beautiful. Caitlin, you're Thank a you. star. Keep shining. And yes. come see us here on the set, okay? Yes, I'll be back soon. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.